didn't give me an idea. I think I can personally guarantee, for the first time ever on British television, the answer to the question, why are we here on planet Earth, will be answered. I can guarantee that next week, <laughs> British television, for the first time ever, Welcome to the biggie. Last week, I made a promise to the Martian. More importantly, I made a promise to you, the viewers at home. Why? Why? That's all I want to know. Why are you? Why, why was Tom here on planet Earth? <laughs> Big question, really. I'd promised to get that answer. I'd promised to the Martian, and I'd promised to you at home. Suddenly doubt crept in. Could I possibly discover the answer to such a huge and important question through such a fickle medium as the television? How could the fool's lantern suddenly educate? This was my conundrum. I was running scared. I would have to ask many people. Therefore, duty bound, we asked every political, philosophical, and religious leader that we could think of. All the great thinkers, and of course, the Toms and the Dicks and the Harrys. Why? I've got a theme coming on. Yes. Yeah! Uh, it's a Martian thing. Uh, Hello! It says bottoms. Uh, How are you uh, keeping uh, skip? It says happiness. It says warmth. It says ambassadors of love. Uh, yeah! Uh, yeah, uh, game! Uh, you and me looking, looking at Britain. What? Hey! Uh, uh, Hello! With our groovy car. Turn the lights on. We would have to search, seek, peer and peek in all four corners of this magical realm, leaving no stone unturned, from the tips of the snow-capped mountain peaks to the through lounges of Surbiton. But first, we would have to come to here. In the heart of the teeming metropolis. Which is the other place where Tom wanted to have himself scattered, funnily enough, in the Thames so he could fly off to France, where he used to holiday often. Ah. So we can scatter a bit of him now, and then we can pursue your question, why are we here? And it's a biggie. Farewell then, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. See you at Nodded, Richard, will we? <laughs> yeah, he was always in the way, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, farewell, old chum. He can take this with us and maybe smoke the rest of it. Oh, come along, let's find out why we're here. Things were getting complicated. Careful. We had the bereavement of Tom on our minds and... Thankfully, in many ways, we got rid of him, and things started to come in focus because of this. Also, there was a problem with the car being stolen. Suddenly, it was all starting to come together. I didn't think that GF2 had been a good choice of personalised number plate. Uh, maybe it stuck out a bit too much. A little bit too much ostentation. I think that might have been our problem all along. On balance, taking on board the whole situation, it suddenly seemed like it was a good idea for the Martian to drive. He'd seen me do it, and I, I thought he'd pick up okay. I can't really see where I'm going. No, no, I don't think we want to get involved in this fast driving when we can't see where we're going. We had to get out of London, which we did. And then back to our question, why are we here? Philosophically, it's a very big question. So we had to talk to a philosopher who lived in a very big house. If you really want to find out why we're here, the, the person to ask is, of course, an academic. Professor, I see you again. Um, I hope that the question wasn't too... Um, too broad for you uh, to get an answer for us. It is a bit broad, but I've looked up an answer or two. Oh, fantastic. Well, come and join us. And, uh, right. Uh, after studying for many years and, and, and reading about philosophy, what sort of answers would you come up with yourself, do you think? Well, I don't think we're here to glorify God and to serve him or to try and get resurrection off him or to win his approval. That is, we're not here to pursue some end which would be laid down by a Christian God, because there isn't one of them, in my view. That is, there isn't somebody who has the three attributes of being all-powerful and all-good 
and all knowing if there was things wouldn't be quite so awful as they turn out to be in this world particularly awful in ways that have nothing to do with human activity I mean when people ask what is the meaning of life I suppose they're asking what life is about beyond itself or what the universe if they ask what the universe's meaning is they're asking what the universe is about mm -hmm. but neither life nor the universe is a statement it's not about anything but we needn't become gloomy about that it needn't be that way it can rather be that we can in a way affirm life make life a good thing there are three things that I'm here to do according to my purposes and the first is to do some decent job of work to make some decent thing out of something write a book or perform a part or do some job and the second thing is to be in some kind of decent or satisfactory intimate relationship with one or two people I keep thinking that's about as fulfilling as the first thing I keep trying the third thing is I suppose to make some contribution to the wider society in which one is pay some attention to other persons and Aristotle for one the Greek philosopher thought that that was a prime end of human life to make some political contribution however minute and I think in this particular day and age he would have felt that more strongly had he been around these parts where we suffer under what I'm afraid I would like to call a vicious government you would think of that third aim of life would be a very important one. Oh, I'll go along with that. Do they have that on Mars? Yeah. That's, that's fascinating. There, that, 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 that really is um, interesting. After Ted, we had to move on. We went from philosophy to faith via fog. With me now is George Curry, the vicar of St. Stephen's Parish. This is what's left of St. Stephen's Church. The question that I have to ask you that uh, my friend, the Martian, is particularly interested to find out, and that is this. Why are we here on planet Earth? We're here for God. He wants us here. He wants us to know him during our life on Earth, and he wants us to love him. He wants us to get to know him through coming to a faith in Jesus Christ, and he wants us to enjoy him forever. That's what we're here for. That's what life's all about, finding him now and then enjoying him forever. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Curry. Is that all right? Perfect. Right. Very religious answer. No, it's, it's good though. I mean, that's, that's... Uh, to answer your question is much better not to speculate philosophically or otherwise. We have to consult the scriptures because these scriptures tells us about the will of God, why we are here. So when we get the scriptures from God, for example, the Ten Commandments, we are told in Islam, we have to obey that. When we go directly to the true scriptures, they will create a happy life in this world. At this point that in our quest, the Martian seemed to have an air of disbelief about him. Was I letting him down as his guide? It was time for him to meet a really old friend of mine. Just ask him, just ask him. Look, just Mind ask him. Yeah, just ask why him. Why are we here? To glorify God and to care for his world and all the people who live in it. I think it's my short answer to that one. He's not made it any clearer. What he's just said has not made it any clearer. I'm sorry. It's not clearer, but I think it's important to get a broad, a broad, uh, a broad cross-section of people's opinions. We're here to try to understand or reawaken our relationship with God. Although everyone's completely ignorant of that relationship. Just like all of these people out here, they're rushing around, trying to enjoy their senses, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. But even the animals do this. So for human beings, we have a higher intelligence and we don't use it to try to inquire, where are we from? What's life really for? What happens after we die? Or is there a supreme? But human life is meant to become happy. And the problem is that people don't know how to become happy. To become happy, you have to become peaceful. And to be, and to be peaceful, you have to have a steady mind. And to have a steady mind, the only thing which will steady the mind is the name of God. So therefore, I, I'm always chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. 
I saw three phone boxes. I was confused. One was bigger than the other two. Again, it promoted the question, why? Hello, I need to talk to Geoffrey. Yes, I am a personal friend of his. Yes, yes, I am. OK. Hello? Yes, he's a personal friend of mine. If you could just connect me straight away, please. Yes, that's right. Mr. Archer. Um, oh, the venerable Sangha Akshita, why are you here on planet Earth? Personally, as a Buddhist, I don't believe that the, the meaning or the purpose of life is imposed upon us from without. But I feel that uh, if, for instance, I look at myself, I can develop myself, I can develop my capacities in any particular way I wish. And I, I personally believe that the purpose of human existence is just to develop those capacities to the utmost, our intellectual capacities, emotional capacities, even our physical uh, capacities, so that we do become, in the end, uh, perfect human beings. It's interesting you should say planet Earth hmm, to begin with, because in traditional Buddhism we believe that there are many realms, so to speak, in the universe where one could be, where one could be reborn. This is the George Holland here, Border Television. Uh, I was looking for uh, Margaret Thatcher. Uh, I've got a few questions for her, and uh, I'm with a Martian, and I'm prepared to play ball. I see, fair enough. Uh, OK. Um, I, I, I shan't bother you again. I'm very sorry about that. Thank you. On planet Earth, there are lots of other people. Uh, I find there? myself in contact with those people. So I not only decide, I not only choose to develop myself in every possible way, but to, to help others to develop. We work together in that way to help one another to develop and to try to make planet Earth a better and a happier place in every possible way. Oh, bugger. I'll tell you, it gives me such a headache when I bang my aerial. Oh, look, we're in a queue now. I'll do a right now. Bacon Street. I think it's the only way. Bacon Street, please. Mm, I had a friend called, in fact, if I can just philosophical here for a moment, I had a friend called John Bentley. He had a landlord called Bacon. And this landlord said to him, my name's Bacon, and you'll never forget it. And he never did. And he told me I never did either. And I don't think you'll ever forget it either. So whenever I say to you, or any of the viewers at home, who is my friend John Bentley's landlord, you'll all say, Bacon. Bacon. So you've, you've been told never to forget it. Yeah. That? Who what was my friend John Bentley's landlord? What was his name? Bacon. Yeah. He was a rash man. <laughs> he was a pig. I think you'll be probably safe enough now. Um... Oh, I think you might have uh, got in a bit of trouble here. Okay. Um, leave the talking all to me. Uh, officer, I can't apologise enough. It's a completely fair cop. I got in this mini cab earlier today. I think I've managed to calm this lunatic down now. I wonder if the, the uh, we've asked a lot of people this question to try and find out you know why we're here. Is there anybody that you would think that we should ask? That we when I mean, we've asked um, philosophers and artists. I mean, I wonder, I wonder if there's any one man that you think of that we should go to, or a woman that we should go no, to. No, because uh, the essence of the question is that it can only be answered as a matter of faith, and uh, faith is a very personal thing. So whoever you ask will have their own way of expressing the answer. And there's certainly nobody who can prove, and this is the point, that they are right. Yes. If you could prove that uh, there was divine inspiration, then there would be no room for faith. But it's because you can't prove it that it becomes a subjective human judgment uh, based on one's uh, ability to understand and to believe in a certain set of historic circumstances. 
Yes. Mm-mm. Which which is which Keep which going do- round. Okay. Uh, go through two more traffic lights, and then you want to be in the centre lane. Mind that, mind that, mind that. Yeah, on. You just, you just get on with it, mate. Ah, oh, well, uh, there's a fella for you, sir. David Owen. Dr. David Owen, he's a doctor. All right, mate. What, uh, what, why are we here on Earth, would you have said, uh, Dr. Owen? I don't think anyone really knows. It depends on whether you're a Christian or not. If you're not a Christian, if you're a humanist, I think you take your position like that old song in the World War when the Cockneys used to sing, we're here because we're here, because we're here, because we're here. Oh, because we're here, 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 Look, that man acting curiously by the uh, by the river there. What's he doing? Is he throwing something in? Nice to see uh, George, good to see you. Who is this? A friend of mine is a Martian. And we're really a dead. Martian? Yes, yes. And He's come from... Mars. Yes, very good. Well <laughs> yes. done, George. I just wanted to test you, you know. Oh, yes, no, It's been we... a long route round England with this friend of yours. It certainly has, but... Uh... It's, it's, he's, what he's fascinated to know at this moment in time is why we're here, why we're here on, on planet Earth. Well, I would be bound to say to a Martian, as I'm by nature a survivor, George, that if he, uh, a Martian arrived and asked me why we were here, I would say we were here solely for the purpose of welcoming him, as it would be fairly obvious if he'd managed to arrive without us even noticing mm-hmm. that he was a little superior to us, George. Ah. He's obviously considerably superior to us. So in order to survive yes. in this new regime, yes. I would say we were just preparing to welcome you, sir. Yes. And Thank I would you. call him sir. Yes. I'm sure you call this him sir, like George. Why you introduce me to more people like this? Yes. This makes a lot I'm more sorry. sense, yes. I'm afraid. Yes. Yes. Not some that's of the a fantastic. That's a, yes. That's a fantastic answer for him. What about humans? Any, uh... Humans. Well, uh, it will sound pompous, but I fear it's what I believe. I think we're here to work damned hard, do our best, and hope we leave it a little better than we found it. That was a close shave. Certainly was with that Jeffrey Archer bloke. Yeah. Nice yeah. man, though. Well, he was very nice to you, wasn't he? Yeah. He was very nice to you. Can you look? Just be careful. Oh, I can't hear them again. I can hear them again. Put down this. He thinks he's going to get us off, but he's got another, he's got another thing coming. A witch and high priestess, why are we here? We're here to celebrate life and find the goddess within us all. Thank you. Where the bloody hell are we now? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought you may. I'll tell you what, I'm getting a bit confused, really, though. I mean, we're just racing about in this car. I mean, is it about philosophy or is it about is it about a car chase? Well, fortunately, now we've lost them. Get back to the philosophy. Ask the poet and the art artist. I think it was uh, William Clark Ellis, uh, the designer of Port Million, that said that uh, particular adage. Uh, that was all. Oh, get okay. out! Go, go! Oh. Tom, who was in my pipe, had started to go to my head. What I wanted to know would would we get to the bottom of the biggie question? Why are we here? You can stick that in your pipe and smoke it in part two.
We were running scared. And the police were right on our tail. I had a lunatic at the wheel. I must sound, but Phil is, uh, Phil is uh, becoming very philosophical with Tom's pipe. Uh, yeah? You know, pipe's an interesting thing. I mean, a lot of people smoke. And Harold Wilson is pipesman of the decade. Manish and Wilk, pipesman of the century. Uh, Dave Lee Travers, pipesman of the year. <sighs> Along with Jack Hargreaves, Jimmy Greaves. Who's we? Pipe's an interesting thing. It makes a man sit back and relax and think about his life. Reflect. I think it's an important thing to do. Reflect. reflect yeah. What are we reflecting upon? Why? Yeah, why? Why are we oh, here? Oh, God! How the... Oh! Don't keep Come doing on. that! Hold the wheel, hold the wheel. Doing it! Tom, our cameraman, there's some memory to him. I've got to turn to the right. Keep right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Just try and get through the gap. There's a gap. There are two policemen. Oh. <laughs> deliberately put you in any compromising or criminal situation. I'm oh, sorry, I beg to differ on that one. We're on this planet. I didn't well, want to get involved in all this flipping jiggery pokery we've don't got going don't here. Don't start that jiggery pokery business. Look, I, I must think say, I'm smoking really... through smoking, Tom, as I have been, I've started to feel a little bit sort of fear. I'm not, I'm not, I'm coming over all not myself. I must say. The pungent aroma was getting my mind out of focus. I didn't know what to think. The series suddenly started to flash before my eyes. I was, I was heady, it, it made no sense. Down, along, and then why? Left a little bit from the caravans of the flats of Dungeness. Mind you, on Dungeness, we have our own saying. It... If it's good for you, help yourself. Mm. That's the store of Dungeness, actually. Yeah, that's their motto. Eventually, this programme had gone from something that was quite promising to a pile of formless rubbish. I think life is like the, it's like the Tour de France without a finish. Oh, you know, that someone wears the yellow jersey, you fight for position all the way through. Uh, you get the applause of the crowd as you go along, but there's no winner because we all die. I think to have sex and keep the population going, have fun. And maybe, maybe this is this is why we're here to make beautiful to make babies uh, and models of joy. I don't know, it's a card withdrawn, isn't it? The card withdrawn? Yeah. I'm a great believer in faith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I never rush to go anywhere. Because you can rush... Uh, you can rush into... You know, you can rush into a right-hander, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Never rush to go anywhere. Take your time. Miss the first race, not the end of the world. Always another race. Yeah. Always another day. Yeah. The dog in the sunset. A wheel within a wheel. Like a little bit of hair. I'm not really sure that a simple central banker like, uh, like myself can, can answer that question. Well, shut up then. Why, 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 why? I love people. I love everybody in the world. I love them all. I want them all to be my friend. So George, tell us why do you think that we're here on planet Earth? I think we're here to sample life's delights. 
Why are we here? It's such a profound question. Uh, you take me by surprise. I'm not sure I could, I could, I could really re reply. But I think we're here to, to uh, give to the, We find ourselves in the world. We're here to give to the world as much as we can. And of course, being ordinary people, we want to take from it too. But I find it very difficult to go beyond that. And that's not very profound, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, I used to think about this before I went to university but I haven't really thought about it since. I went all through university and uh, studied philosophy, theology, various other subjects. And I left just as confused, but on a much higher level. So you then have been to the edge and has returned? Yes. Why'd you start that? Thank you very much for your candid answers. Have you any ideas why we're here on planet Earth? No, I haven't got to. Why are we here? All I can do is to quote from Emma Kaya. The no hair there. Persian philosopher. Shiny egg. Who said, we Shiny know egg. not whence we came nor why. We know not when we go nor where. That's the only answer I can give. Very much. We hadn't, we weren't familiar with any Persian philosophy so far, and that's been very enlightening. Well, you must explain it to our friend now. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll probably be doing that at a later date. You're here to find out while we're here on planet Earth. I have, I have, in the few <laughs> small moments I've been on this planet, met... You shared, with, you shared with us. ...met Omer's brother, Victor Kayam. Yes. And apparently he bought something. Thank you very much. What's your, what's your views of it? Me? Well, I think that we're all, uh, we're all here to help why, one another along, really. Why? Or, uh, or help ourselves. I can never quite remember which. Which comes why, first? Why, 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 why have we got cats and dogs? They're not why, much use to us, really, why? are they? Why?
Hang on. Look. Look. There, look. What's he doing? I don't really understand what's happened, but I think we've some way, we've some way got wrapped up in a time warp and we're, we're back where we started. In our opening title sequence, which I suppose is some sort of reference to the big hit, hit blockbusters of the 1960s. I, I don't understand it at all, really. I wish they would make that noise on the side of the car. This stuff is, don't you? It's film, isn't it? That's it. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, this is video now. My name is Jules Holland, and this is the uh, Martian who you might have seen earlier. <clears throat> Hello. Please feel free to ask any questions that you would like to answer, ask at all. Vous avez venu de passer un certain temps avec Monsieur le Martien. Est-ce que vous pensez qu'il a développé un sens de société ou de philosophie de sens de à l'esprit ou au caractère humain? Oh no. Hey. Um, oh dear. Very good question. Uh, I hope the Martian can speak French. Um, il, 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 un uh, guide and um, le, le grand oh dear. Uh, Martian tweet. Uh, they can see you're struggling. Which, which paper are you from? France. Ah, yes. Thank you. Again, you're not very big. Can you little, be, be a bit more specific? Yes, I'll if pass I that could, over to Julie. Yes, I think the reason... The, 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 the reason... The re the uh, of course, and these questions... And, and, and these, these questions are here to be answered. It's not all shout. Change the subject. I think trust is something so important to us here on Earth, isn't it? And I think um, the Martian has in many ways learned that that's one of the better characteristics of us, we humans all share together, and that's the characteristic of trust. And that's what he's learned, I think, very much from me. From you, yes. Yes, for uh, winning, winning it through there. We ask us to ask you difficult questions, yet you haven't given us a straight answer to any of them. Yeah, any other questions? I thought it was meant to be a documentary. I think there's... You were procuring the money on that basis, weren't you? Thanks very much. Yes, there's more money in drama than there is in documentary, so we've tried to make a bit of a drama out of what would have been quite simple otherwise. Really, I think. Were you paid up front? Um, no. No, I don't get the check until after he's gone, in fact. Has uh, anybody at the top seen the, uh, the programme yet? No. Nobody in televisions upstairs has seen any of this at all so far. And uh, in these uncertain... Right, I've had enough of this. ...censorship enough. and indeed the, the quality of television um, getting worse and worse and worse because of the... Because of, Well, thank you very much indeed for coming. Um, thank you once again. And um, we'd just like to say, really, that it's nice to be important, but it's very important to be nice. We'd just like to thank you all, all for coming. Come along. Thank you. Most of it wasn't your fault. I mean, you gave it your best shot, didn't you? Look, um, you'll need a souvenir if you go back. Why don't you? I've got Tom's pipe. Don't you? you have it. You haven't got any cash no, or anything. No, thanks all the same. Okay. 
Right, have you got any cash or anything left in your pockets? Yeah, I've got a pound. Thanks. It's the one you gave me when I met you. Well, thank you. Thanks all the same. Uh, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's au revoir, then. I think more, more sort of goodbye, really. Nice. Nice to be important. All on my bub tod. And off he goes. Back to Mars, I suppose. Won't be the same. Give us a lift to the road, mate. Me with a Martian, though. Think of it. Six weeks with a real Martian. A real Martian. Patrick, there you are. Hello. Ah, good to see you. Glad to see you again. <sighs> thanks for uh, seeing us. At How time. are you? Very well. Thanks for seeing us. At nice to see you once more. I've had this problem where there's a Martian who has joined me, and yeah. I'm um, not sure. Uh, how genuine he is. I mean, he says he's a Martian, he has an aerial. I did see a rocket when he landed, but I can't be sure whether he really is a Martian. Well, I must admit, I'm highly sceptical. The reason being that Mars is a small planet with a, a very rarefied atmosphere and a very cold climate. And if there were any beings there, which I'm sure there are not, they wouldn't be a bit like us. So, um, with great respect, uh, I'm afraid he's probably not a Martian. I hate to disillusion you. Mm. 